Today I'm going to show you how to punch down a Category 5 Keystone Jack. Hi, my name is Craig Michaud and I am the electrical instructor. Today what we're going to do is we're going to punch down a Keystone Jack. Now, a Keystone Jack is used in Telcom. So what happens is, you know, the jack gets punched down at the workstation. The workstation is going to be the end use. So for an electrician, you've got to look at a workstation or a jack as a typical outlet is our jack. So basically meaning that our wire going from our patch panel to our jack, that's our branch circuit. So it really isn't a branch circuit because power is not carried on it. It's basically more than nothing more than a signal. So what we're going to be thinking about is this jack has got to get information to it. So how do we install it? Well, it's no different than how you wire an outlet except you just need a couple different things. One of the things you're going to need is you're going to need an impact punch down tool. Now, they make all kinds of different type of punch down tools. You can get them to do 60, just 66. You can get them to just do 110. I prefer the combination. The combination is great because if I want to punch down my 66, all I got to do is twist it, pop it out, flip it over, and bingo, now I can start punching down 110. Okay. Now, if you're in the telecom business, you're going to need a good tool like this. So I'm not going to make any recommendations. Whatever you prefer is fine. You want to make sure it's an impact type because you want that impact to set those wires in place. I've seen students and, and, and green apprentices go out and buy the regular punch down tool. It's not really a punch down tool. It's you like force it in there. It, it doesn't really work all that well. Guys, gals, if you're going to spend money on tools, make sure you buy decent tools. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to talk about this keystone jack. Okay, we're going to talk about this keystone jack. A couple things. You have a dust cover, okay? Dust cover goes over the top. I'll show you how to put that on when we're done. One of the things I want you to focus on is the type of jack. Now, every jack is different. This jack happens to be a Leviton, okay? So Leviton has their color scheme, how they set up their pins, how we punch them down, the color code that we use. Now, remember, the color code is always gonna be 568. It's either gonna be 568A or 568B. So you have to always know which one you're using. I'm gonna give you a little rule of thumb. If you don't know what it is, nine times out of 10, it's gonna be 568B. So what do we gotta do? Well, we've gotta know what color code we're gonna use. And like I just said, we're gonna use 568B today, okay? So when you look at this, when you look at this jack, you can see that the bottom is A and the top is B. Now, if I flip this over, you can also see that the top is the bottom is A and the top is B. So what do we need to do? All right, what we have to do is we're gonna use the B and we're gonna take this and I'm gonna put you on the table here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna punch this down to 568B. I just want you to remember, if you haven't watched my other video that talks about color code of a 25 pair and a category five or category six cable, you know, these are our four pairs that we're going to be dealing with. We're going to be dealing with blue, orange, green, brown. That's it. Blue, orange, green, brown. Eight conductors we're going to be using. So you're using category five cable. We're using a category five jack. We'll be good. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, and hopefully you guys can see this. What we're going to do is we're going to go through the way this is set up. So this B is going to be we're gonna have solid blue, green, solid brown, and brown white on this side. And when we flip it over, we're gonna have the blue white, the green white, the orange white, and the orange. Basically what we're doing is we're splitting the two pairs in the beginning, and then we're gonna have the orange is gonna to go to one side and the brown is gonna to go to the other. So in order to do this, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take our blue and we're going to set it in place right here. 
And then the next color that I'm going to do is I'm going to do my, my blue. My blue-white will go on the other side. Now once I do that, I'll do my green. And then I'll take my green-white and I will land it in the green-white slot. Okay. So a lot of times what happens is you're going to have these wires split. You're going to have these wires split. So you're going to have to be careful. So when you split the orange and the brown, you want to try and keep them as close together as possible. So what I do is I take my finger and I untwist them. so that I have my brown and my white kind of separating together, which I'll have to show you here in a minute. Let me get my big fingers out of the way. So this is how it's going to end up looking when it's all said and done with. Okay, you're going to hold on to that. That's going to be set. Now you're going to do the orange side. Same thing. Hold it where, where you have to. Separate the wires so you keep that, them wire, that twist nice and tight. You're going to press it down and you're good. This is how you, you lace your wires on a Cat5 jack, this type of keystone. Remember, it's a Leviton keystone. So now you're going to punch it down. Remember, when we use the punch down tool, we're going to use the cut side. And the cut side is going to always cut off the excess. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold our jack. We're going to take our punch down tool. We're going to start on one side and we're going to work our way over. Okay, so now we punch down the other side. Make sure you flip the cut side away from, away from where the wire is connected. Now something you're going to want to remember. Sometimes when you cut the wires, they're not going to always pop right off. Sometimes you didn't hit it at the right angle. A lot of it is just the insulation is, connect, is not cut off completely. It happens all the time. If you buy a good cutter, okay, if you buy a good cutter, it's going to last a long time. But every now and then, if you buy a cheap tool, they chip. And if they chip, you're going to have a more difficult time dealing with it. So. Regardless whether you have a sharp tool or you have a dull tool, you're going to get wire hairs that are going to get stuck onto the, the jack. Don't yank them because if you yank them, you've got a good chance of pulling that little wire out and then you've got to pull the jack off and restart it off again. All you're going to do is you're going to take your wire and you're going to twist it back and forth. until the wire comes off. Okay, just keep twisting it. Boom. The same thing, just twist it. And it comes off. And that is a nicely laced category five jack. Now, when you're done, you take the dust cover and you cover the connection. Now, what I want you to see is when you're looking at this with a dust cover on, this is a completed job. So this is ready to get snapped into a plate, almost ready to be used. What I want you to remember is I don't see wire sticks out here. There's no wire sticking out here at all. And why is that? Because it's inside the jack connection. Reason being is, 
I don't want to have that wire sticking out anymore because that's going to make this more flimsy. This is tight because it's basically a piece of cable. This is, a, this is tight. When I press these down, the wire is going to stay in place. I snap it in the, into the jack. I plug my patch cord in. I run my test. I unplug my tester. I plug in a computer, a phone, whatever it may be, and it's all set. This is just a short little video to show you how to punch down a Leviton Category 5E Keystone Jack. They're very basic. We use the 568B. Showed you how to do it. All you have to do is follow the directions on the jacks and you're good to go. All right, well, I hope that video helped you. If that video helped you, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. Hey, you know what? If you like what you're seeing, do me a favor, leave me a comment down below. Let me know, hey, you're doing a nice job. I like seeing what you're doing. It makes me feel good. You know, the, the channel's growing. I'm trying to get new parts and new videos out for you guys. You know, we're still going. I have, I believe, 19 more videos to the end of the year. God, can you believe 2019 is almost over? Here's the thing. If you haven't subscribed yet, do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button. If you have subscribed, thank you very much. I really appreciate your support. Watch my videos. Keep liking them. Comment down below. That's awesome. As always, have a great day and be safe.